up guys, Mr. Allen C here, and I got something super exciting and new for my theater room. Check out this 1080p HG projector. What's in the box? All right, it comes packaged really neatly, well protected. We got the instruction manual, and we have a remote control for the projector itself. HDMI cable, that's what I'm gonna wanna use, but they also offer these older standard cables, so you're set no matter what device you're using. Also have the power cord that plugs into an AC outlet. Nice long one. And the projector itself. Wow, this projector looks absolutely stunning. I like the small size. It's not going to be overwhelming. And there's the DC plug-in on the left side. So that's where you plug in the cord that connects to the power on the wall. Uh, and here's a USB port in the back. An HDMI cable uh, slot and an AV plug-in for the AV cable right there. What's, what do we got here? We have a focus on the side, so it looks like this rotates and you can focus the picture. This control panel, we have a back button, an okay button, power button, and you can navigate with up, down, left, right arrows. Back into my theater room, I wanna show you just how simple this thing is to set up. So I just have a wall with a white painted area where I project it. And I'm going to do this for the first time. This is where I'm going to set it, just on top of some books here. So I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm going to show you how simple this is. Keep in mind, this is my first time trying it. So I plugged the HDMI cable in and connected that to my Xbox. I'm going to get the power cord plugged in now. Okay, and as I plugged it in, I noticed it's showing it does have power. A red light's illuminated. So if I press that and turn green, I'm assuming this is going to turn on. And we're going to get a first preview of what this looks like and how my initial setup goes. This is where the focus comes in. As I adjust it, watch what happens to the picture. So I'm sliding that and watch. See, it goes from clear to fuzzy. No matter what your distance, you can get the right clarity. I had to stick a little something under it to angle it upwards to appear on my screen just right. Or maybe yours is set up perfectly where it can just be straight on. All right, now I'm setting up the remote control. Looks like it takes two AAAs. All right, so I'll try the remote, and yes, I can go side to side, and I select what I want. I'm going to go right to HDMI. Here's a quick sample of the video quality and the audio. The audio coming out of the projector sounds really good. Graphics are nice. If you go into settings, these uh, projectors have all sorts of different options under sound, Picture, center language. What's this uh, flip? Okay, so you can flip this various angles. So let's say you mounted it upside down on your ceiling. They got a setting for that. Pretty cool. And then uh, we have the version, software update. You can do that via USB. Okay. Uh, you can go to the main menu. You can watch movies or videos that you have on a USB stick attached to it. You can view photos that are on that USB stick or listen to music. You can also view text documents. Other options, you can connect your Wi-Fi network for updates. You can go over to AV mode. If you connected your AV cables, that's how you view it there. If we go over to HDMI, that's where you view any HDMI device like my Xbox. And then we have screen mirroring. So you have the option to mirror your smartphone onto this large projector display. Quick look at this mini projector, guys. I hope you found this video useful, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.